Today I'm going to show you how you can burn a slideshow onto DVD using a Mac computer. All you need to do is first you need to request an ISO file of your slideshow. I've already done so, but to do this you go to the My Slideshows tab, you would select your slideshow and then you'd come all the way down here and click on the Burn DVD button. Once you've done so, a pop-up will appear um, letting you know that you're going to receive an email with a link in it that allows you to download your ISO file. So you have two options. You can either download the ISO file from the link you'll receive in an email, or you can go to the My Account tab, and in the My Orders sub tab, you'll have a list with your slideshow requests. As you can see here, I have the wedding slideshow in a DVD format, and the status is complete. So I have a button to download it. I've already downloaded the ISO file, so I'm going to go to my Downloads folder, which is right here. And as you can see, I have my ISO file here. So if you click on the link within the email you're going to get automatically, your ISO file will also appear in this Downloads folder. So the next step is to use the Disk Utility Program, which is a default program available on all Mac computers. So you can go about this either two ways. The first way would be to go to your Applications folder and in the search bar up here, start typing in Disk Utility. As you can see, it appears right here at the top of the list. I can also use the spotlight on my Mac computer, which is the little magnifying glass in the top right hand corner of your screen, and I can also type in use disk utility as it is here, and open it from here. Okay, so I've opened the disk utility, and as you can see, my ISO file automatically appears in the list. It'll retrieve all ISO files that you have in your computer. If it doesn't, then all you need to do is click on the file tab at the top of your screen, and then click on open disk image which will open up your finder, which you can go to the downloads folder, select your ISO file and open from here. I already have it, so I'm not gonna click open. I'm just gonna go back to here. And so I've selected my ISO file and now you can insert a blank DVD disc. And once you've inserted your disc, this burn button up here will become active and you can click on it and start burning your DVD. That's really all there is to it.